Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's D-Man the Great here and uh, today I'm here in my sadness to talk about the death of Kobe Bryant and what you guys should take from this particular event as we could all learn a lesson from him as a whole as to treat your life as good as you can. Be the best person you can to live life and love others the way you want treat others the way you want to be treated and hold everybody accountable for everything hold yourself accountable to be the best person you can be because life is short and anything can happen at any time and with that being said I'd like to say rest in peace to the great basketball player Kobe Bean Bryant and how much of an inspiration he has been to so many people so many of his peers and so many people just being fans of the game of basketball as he has uh, inspired so many people that has led to other people being inspired. So really his, contrib his contributions to the game and the people before him and the people after him now are going to live on forever. And uh, with that being said, just hold know to always love your idols as a person who has grew up watching the part, watching the man Kobe Bryant and seeing the amazing things he did on the basketball court and you could use a lot of his philosophies in real life as well and as a hero of the basketball community and also a hero in his own community as well he, like uh, just months ago he had the video where he was helping out people in the car crash and then just uh, big up in the younger players, like when the NBA players a couple of years ago were asking for challenges, and he's like, oh, go get the championship, oh, go get MVP to Giannis, and things like that were groundbreaking for their time as a retiree basketball player hasn't hadn't done that before, and it was a new stage for the younger, because the generation now is being taught to big up the new generations and it's very responsible and very respectable and very beautiful that he would do something like that in his day and to be this young as he really just started really he really was just getting started as 41 is a very young age because really you you got a double 41 you got to make it to 82 man because uh being a relatively youthful person still you miss out on a lot necessarily and rest in condolences to his family as well with his wife and his remaining children and it's a tragedy today in the NBA community you have the game today where you see a lot of players crying and things of that sort but I'm not gonna be here to depress you or anything like that I'm here today to say to watch those Kobe highlights watch them and enjoy them watch the watch all your favorite basketball players because Kobe Bryant and his love for the game his desire his passion carries on across the board you can live life with the mama mentality if you live life with the mama mentality you can do anything you want and you can be the person you really want to be and I'd like to thank everyone who's ever watched the video just for being appreciative I'm just being appreciative y'all of y'all uh, as a fan of Kobe Bryant and a lover of the game of basketball it is a great deep and tragedy anytime we lose any of our members of our basketball NBA family MCAA family any basketball player that dies is a big loss really and with Kobe being one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game we've lost one of the all-time greats in this case and uh but we're going to carry on and then rest in peace to his daughter Gianna as well who's on the plane and the other members of the plane that got that was crashed as well because it's very tragic to see any life lost all life is precious in that way because 
to live on this earth for years on end is beautiful but to only last a few to get a taste of life to get a part of the experience to grow up a little bit and then lose your life is always tragic any child that dies that's a great tragedy as um, I remember watching the 2009 2010 NBA finals highlights NBA champ and all just all the playoff highlights of Kobe and LeBron and these guys and thinking wow this is such a thing I remember over the summer watching Gianna Bryant playing in her little AAU games and stuff with all her teammates and stuff and you see Kobe in the picture with uh as the coach of though that the members of that team and condolences to them as they may have lost a teammate with Kobe and Gianna and losing Gianna herself so losing your coach and possibly two teammates so condolences to them and their families who may have been affected by this and hopefully the pilot and all um and whoever else was on that plane can hopefully recover mentally because that's really the dangerous thing and all death and all loss mental health is always the most important thing and you should always take care of your mental health regardless of anything because physical health and mental health are very important and if you don't take take if you don't take care of yourself mentally it can harm you physically and it could lead to very bad things for your health and i'd like to say i'm gonna close this video out with a, a great thank you to a uh, hero to me um I remember one of my first ever, when I think of basketball, when my first thoughts, when I didn't watch the sport when I was a kid, my first thought of basketball, the first image that would ever pop up into my mind thinking about basketball was Kobe Bryant dunking on the fast break against the New, York, the New Jersey Nets in the NBA Finals. And I'd like to thank him for everything he's done for the game of basketball and all the inspiration and all anything that may have carried over in anybody's lives and anything that may have carried over into my life that inspired me to do greater and be greater. And I thank him and rest in peace to you, Mr. Kobe Bryant. And I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.